Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this video, we're going to do a quick knowledge check on the things what we have learned on module 3. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. You want to build a mobile app that allows you complete control over the user experience and design. What type of power apps app should you build? Is it a model driven app? No, it is not a portal app as well. The correct answer is a canvas app. With canvas apps, you start with a blank canvas, choosing your type of mobile or tablet. Then you can design the app to meet your pixel perfect design. Let's look at question number two. Your project requirements calls for the ability to take a picture of a part and identify which model it is. You are not a data scientist or developer. How can you add this to your app? Is it to add a camera control to your app? No. And this is not possible. Yes, this is definitely possible. So the correct answer is Train and use an object detection model in your app with AI Builder. Our apps makes available to you the ability to use artificial intelligence without writing code. This allows you to do form processing, object detection, prediction, and text classification, all powered by Azure services. Let's look at question number three. How can data sources be used with Power Apps Canvas apps? Is it Power Apps can only use its internal data sources? No. Is it Power Apps uses only external data sources and does not have an internal data source? No. So the correct answer is Power Apps can use multiple internal and external data sources in the same app. Power Apps allow you complete control of which data sources you use in your app. There are over 270 data connectors available now and the ability to build a custom connector if one does not exist. All right, so question number four. Your sales team is in desperate need of a mobile application that can display records living in a SharePoint list. When displaying the records, multiple pieces of information about each record need to be visible to the user. Which of the following Power Apps tools would you use when designing your apps to achieve this functionality? Is it create an input control to display the sales record? No. Is it to create a form to display the sales record? Not correct as well. So the correct answer is create a gallery to display the sales records. Galleries are used to display tables of data from your data source. They are highly customizable. So you can show whatever information about a particular record that is necessary. You could then use a form to edit individual records if desired. Let's look at question number five. You have been tasked with creating a power app that can scan barcodes that will display the scanned items information on the screen. Out of the following control options, which one would the barcode scanner fall under? Is it forms? No, it's not galleries either. So the correct answer is media. The barcode scanner control is a part of the media category of controls. This control can be used to scan barcodes of various types of pass information about the barcodes to the Power App. Then additional functions can be used that barcode information to perform additional tasks. Let's look at question number six. You have a gallery control in your app for displaying all customer orders. Your manager says she would like to see orders from last 90 days in addition. How would you reduce the amount of data she sees? Is it by creating a formula for your gallery that uses filter function? No. Or would you modify the data source to purge out all orders older than 90 days? Definitely not. So the correct answer is using the data filtering wizard. The filter function allows you to apply logic tests to one or more columns in your data source. For this scenario, you could filter out data where the order date is less than 90 days ago. Question number seven. When building model driven apps, which designer is used to define the navigation of your app? Is it an app designer? 
No, it's not view designer either. So the correct answer is sitemap designer. The sitemap designer is used to define the navigation of your app by dragging components into the design canvas, preventing your work and instantly publishing the sitemap. Administrators and any user with the required privileges can quickly create sitemaps for apps. Question number eight. If you wanted to create a standard procedure or processor for handling service requests, what type of logic would be the best to implement? Is it flow? No, it's not workflow or business rules. So the correct answer is business process flow. Business process flows can be used to define a set of steps for people to follow to take them to a desired outcome. Question number nine. When sharing a model to an app, which of the following statement is true? Is it users just need to be added to a predefined security role? No. Or is it users just need to be added to the custom security role? That doesn't work either. Is it model driven apps do not need to be shared? They are accessible to anyone using the app link. That is a wrong statement. So the correct statement is users need to be added to a predefined or custom security role and one or more security roles need to be associated with the app. So users must have a security role that grants them the rights to access the app for you to successfully share the app. Let's look at question number 10. Which of the following selections is a valid target audience for Power Apps portals? It is definitely not family members and competitors. So the correct answer is employees. Target audience for Power Apps portals can be customers, employees or donors. Question number 11. What role is required to be able to provision Power Apps portal for an organization? So the correct answer is system administrator. A user must have system administrator role to create a Power Apps portal. Let's look at the last question. Which of the following is the recommended authentication mechanism in Power Apps portals? Is it social providers? No. It is definitely not local authentication with username and password or Microsoft account. So the correct answer is Azure Active Directory B2C. Azure Active Directory B2C is the recommended identity provider for authentication. All right, so that concludes module three. In the next video, we are starting a brand new module called module four. And the first lesson on module four is all about Power Automate Overview. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.